Dragovian Sanctuary. We Dragovians are capable of existing in two forms, human and dragon. I am Chen Mui, a Dragovian elder. I'll be your guide here. It has been many hundreds of years since humans last set foot within the sanctuary. Your sudden appearance may shock some Dragovians. That is why I would like to accompany you. You may feel uncomfortable at being escorted, but I pray for your understanding in this matter. this when I left. Chen Nui, 
What a surprise! It has been many years. When did you return? Save the pleasantries. You must tell me what is happening here. I apologize. That's a matter for me to discuss with the Council Elders. Pray let us pass. Most honored Chen Mui, you may pass. But I cannot permit the humans to enter the Council Chamber with you. We are facing a dire crisis, and you stand on formalities? I will take full responsibility for my guests. Now move out of my way at once. It appears your mind is made up, Master Chen Mui. In that case, please enter. What is this? The Council of Elders is in session. Ah! If it isn't Chen Mui! It is! It is indeed! Welcome back to the Council, Chen Mui! Thank you. But let us save the pleasantries for later. First, tell me how the Sanctuary could have fallen into this state. Ah. Yes, I forgot that you left before the ritual was carried out. Very well, let me tell you how all this came about. Just after you left Chen Mui, the Lord of the Dragovians came to a momentous decision. As of course you know, we Dragovians are both human and dragon. He decided the time had come for us to abandon our human forms once and for all. What? Preposterous! Does such a ritual really exist? Our Lord ascended the heavenly dais to test the ritual on himself first. Once it was completed, our Lord became a dragon once and for all. Or so he thought. In fact, the ritual failed. As you know, it consumes a great deal of energy for us to remain in our dragon forms. The ritual compensated for this by replenishing the energy from the ambient surroundings. In other words, our Lord began to absorb the energy of his fellow Dragovians. We are slowly being consumed by his unending hunger for energy. Thus, the Sanctuary has fallen into discord and disarray. As soon as we realized the ritual had failed, we appeared before the Lord of the Dragovians to plead with him to reverse it. But the ritual appears to have affected his mind as well. In his current state, he cannot be reasoned with. What now sits upon the heavenly dais is not the Lord of the Dragovians, but a savage, uncontrollable monster. He attacked us. We had no choice but to withdraw. And soon the Sanctuary of the Dragovians will be no more. I can put it no more plainly than that. I see, I see. It appears terrible events have unfolded during my absence. Chen Mui, I meant to ask earlier. But who are your companions? They appear to be humans, if my eyes do not deceive me. I mean no rebuke. I am simply curious. Your eyes do not deceive you. These humans intend to confront the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn. Indeed. Is he? There will be time for that later. They plan to confront the Lord of Darkness, you say? If that is the case, they have arrived at a most fortuitous point in our conversation. 
But can we really entrust such an important task to outsiders? Outsiders? Hmm. Perhaps you should introduce yourselves to the Council of Elders. for the task. Indeed, their valor has been acknowledged by none less than the Godbird Imperia. The Godbird Imperia? Mm. I hesitate to ask any more of you when you already journey under such a terrible burden. But before you confront Rapthorn, I would ask that you face the Lord of the Dragovians. Think of it as a personal request from me. Will you accept? I had faith in you from the very start. Simply hearing that lifts my spirits immensely. Please, come to my home, where I will prepare a cheese banquet suitable for great heroes such as yourselves. Return. I have looked forward to this day. Ah, yes. Thank you for watching over things in my absence. I brought some human guests with me today. I want you to make sure they are comfortable. Guests from the human world? Do you mean one of them is Miss Chia's? Why don't you begin preparing tonight's meal? Ah. Uh, of course, Master. A cheese banquet, I presume. I'll begin preparations right away. Please, make yourselves at home. Wow, oh, what a spread, eh? I don't think I've ever eaten that much cheese in my whole life. Not that I'm complaining, mind. That was good grub. I'm just feeling a bit cosy around the old midriff. <laughs> That's Yangus, always thinking with his stomach. By the way, there's something about this Chen Mui fellow that sticks in my mind. We only just met him today. How does he know so much about us? Actually, I found the attitude of the elders even more bizarre. It was as if they'd known about you for a long time. You reckon? I didn't know it's nothing weird. But if it's bugging you, right? Why don't you ask that old Shem Wasit bloke, eh? You know, for once I actually agree with you, Yangus. I seriously doubt he'll spit out the truth there and then. But it can't hurt to try.
awake already. How do you feel? Did you sleep well? Glad to hear it. I'm counting on you. Today you will visit the heavenly dais. The path is a labyrinth. The entrance lies beyond a portal beneath the council chamber. <laughs>